Hello and welcome to SubjectMoney.com. What we're going to do here today is an, uh, a tutorial on how to create a Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel 2010. Now, uh, Microsoft Excel doesn't actually have an option to create a Gantt chart, so what we're going to do is manipulate the bar chart, um, the stacked bar chart, and uh, to create a Gantt chart. So what I'm going to do here is introduce the data. You can see right here we have the different tasks that need to be completed. And uh, for each task, we have a start date, the days completed, and the days remaining. Now, on some Gantt charts, you'll see the end date. But what we're going to do here is we want to actually chart the progress, and that's the days completed. We've already, like for example, on this website analysis, we've already uh, completed four days. Um, it's actually all the way complete. But for here, for the offer and acceptance, um, we've completed six days, and there's still nine days remaining. So we want to actually graph um, our progress on the project. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click Insert, and we will select a stacked bar chart. And you can see the chart is blank right now because we have not, we have not yet selected any data. Okay, so we're going to right click, we're going to right click and select data. And um, the first thing that we're going to add is the start, the start date. So we'll go ahead and we'll name this the series name, start date. And then for the series values, we're going to select the dates. Okay. So now you can see that we have the dates selected. Um, now, while we have this open, right here in our horizontal category, you can see it's numbered. But we want this to actually um, be the task that we're going to complete. So we're going to click Edit over here on the horizontal axis. And we'll just highlight our task. And it lines those up with the respective data. Okay, so you can see what we have so far. Um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to add our days completed. So we just right-click the chart again, select data, and we're going to add a new series. We're going to name this series Days Completed. And just like we did with the dates, we're going to highlight the days completed. Okay, so again, you can see we have days completed over here. And um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the on our chart, this is in reverse order. And we're going to get to that later, so that will be fixed. Um, so anyway, now we're going to go ahead and add our days remaining. So we right-click, select data, and we will add days remaining. I saw I have a typo there for days completed. I'm going to fix that. And again, we're going to highlight for series data. For the, for the series values, we'll highlight the days remaining. Okay, now I want to get in here and fix my typo. Okay, so we have all of this. We have all of our data entered into the chart. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight, or we're going to select the um, the start date, the bars associated with the start date, and we're going to go up here and we're going to select no fill because we don't need to see those. Okay, so now you can see that we have our days completed and our days remaining but of course like I said they are um, in reverse order so now what we're going to do here is we're going to select our task right click we click on format axis and you can see up here it says categories in reverse order we're going to select categories in reverse order and now it switched everything around for us okay now uh, 
the final problem we have here is there's a space in between. Um, we, we don't need this space here. We're starting in November, so we want to have our uh, chart start relatively close to November. Um, the way that we're going to do this, um, you kind of need to understand how Excel um, recognizes dates. So watch what I'm going to do here. I will select the first date, Control C. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it over here. Now I'm going to convert that to general. And you can see right there that Excel recognizes dates underlying it's not actually a number. Um, so to fix this, we want to go ahead and get rid of this area. We'll just select, select the dates, right click, format axis, and you can see right here where it says minimum fixed, we have 40,800, and we're going to um, change that to 40,848. for our minimum fixed date, 848. And that should get rid of that space for us. And you can do the same thing for the end. So there, you can see that our space is um, has been removed. Maybe wanna stretch this out a little bit just so the dates don't run together. But uh, there you can see that we have our Gantt chart. We have um, the task that has been completed here. Um, right here you can see in our offer and acceptance we are um, six days into that and there's three days remaining according to our Gantt chart. And all of these tasks right here have not yet been um, started. And um, so that's it. We have a Gantt chart that shows the progress of each task which will change. Um, this chart will automatically change um, as the um, as we make progress on our project and um, you know as far as doing a Gantt chart if you want to just present uh, maybe before the project project has even started an estimate of um, how long each task is going to take you could go and enter um, it, it's basically the math you know right here this was obviously a four-day task um, if you add this up this is a nine day task. This is a 25 day task. From November uh, 15th, 25 days later would be your end date. Um, but that concludes my tutorial of how to create a Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel. And uh, more specifically, it's a Gantt chart that shows the progress. And make sure that you visit our website at www.subjectmoney.com and have a good day.